The animal kingdom can charm and amaze us in big ways, like really big. But these massive creatures take the magic of the animal kingdom to a whole new level in ways we couldn't possibly have imagined. Our dog's name is Zeus and he is three years old. He's a Great Dane. If it's not a Great Dane that eats 30 pounds of food a day or a frog the size of a human baby, it's a butterfly with a foot wide wingspan or a colossal squid that can sink a boat. Make no mistake, these creatures are very real. 15 giant animals you didn't know existed. Oh wow, he's huge. What's more? Is these biceps? <laughs> Chinese giant salamander. Ancestors of these slimy giants diverged from all other amphibians over 170 million years ago during the Jurassic period. This makes the giant salamanders one of the most evolutionarily isolated families on the planet. The Chinese giant salamander is the world's largest amphibian, growing up to three and a half feet long with a large tail comprising almost 60% of its body length. It's even been reported that a 10-foot salamander was found in 1983. This species was once widespread in central, southwestern, and southern China, although now its range is now very fragmented. They prefer elevated climates, up to 5,000 feet above sea level where it lives, and breed in large hill streams, normally in forested areas. Although revered by the Chinese for thousands of years, Chinese giant salamanders are threatened today by over-harvesting for human consumption. So that's why in China, salamander farming has been encouraged and is an important economic activity in some areas. The Chinese giant salamander is a flagship species for China's freshwater river systems, and the efforts to conserve it will play a vital role in protecting the region's habitats and biodiversity. Now let's get ready for today's missing topic. Although this pig could be the biggest pig we've ever seen, what is the largest pig on record? The answer is Big Bill. The world record for the heaviest pig so far is held by Big Bill from Jackson, Tennessee. It was a Poland-China breed of hog that tipped the scales at 2,552 pounds back in 1933. Can you even imagine how much food it took to feed something that big? Pigs are notoriously massive eaters, and could you see yourself riding on one like this girl in this picture? It turns out, yeah, there are Pig Olympics and yup, that's a thing. The Pig Olympics are for specially bred and trained pigs. Events within the competition include pig racing, pig swimming, and pig ball or swine ball, which is much like soccer. The good news is that the piglets in the games are not eaten. Instead, they're bred for the next generation of piglet athlete. Do you love pigs as much as we do? Use the hashtag missing topic and share the love in the comments below. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? Great Dane. Snatching the crown of world's biggest dog depends on how people define biggest. If you go by the distance between paws to shoulder blades, then lanky Great Danes are a clear winner, and a dynamo Dane named Zeus was the tallest of them all. This ginormous dog, named after ancient Greece's father of the gods, is an incredible 44 inches tall. That's only up to his shoulders. Standing up to his hind legs, the canine towered over his owner, stretching to an incredible 7 feet 4 inches. The dog can now be referred to as the big daddy of the dogs, having officially entered the record books. This humongous hound weighed 155 pounds and ate around 12 cups of food a day, equivalent to one whole 30-pound bag of food. So if you're thinking about getting a dog, these pups love love. They need lots of affection and socialization with people and other animals, making them great family pets. Thanks to their sweet, gentle, patient dispositions, Danes are even great with kids. As for Zeus, sadly, the world's tallest dog is no more. In addition to his international fame, Zeus was well known throughout his hometown due to frequent trips to an area school and hospital. The family treated Zeus as if he was their own child. He was a lap dog despite his very not lap dog size. <laughs> Elephant Seal it has its name for a very good reason. They're the elephants of the sea. The elephant seal is the world's largest seal. Male elephant seals weigh as much as a small truck or cargo van. Only the adult male, the bull, has the large snout that resembles an elephant's trunk. 
the bull uses it to roar during the mating season. The large nose also acts as a rebreather, allowing the seal to absorb moisture when it exhales. During the mating season, seals don't leave the beach, so they must conserve water. Otherwise, elephant seals spend up to 80% of their lives in the ocean, holding their breath for more than 100 minutes, longer than any other non-water living animal. They can cover 60 miles a day when they head out to sea. There are two species of elephant seals, named according to the hemisphere in which they're found. Northern elephant seals are found in coastal waters around Canada and Mexico, while southern elephant seals are found off the coast of New Zealand, South Africa, and Argentina. Southern elephant seals are a bit larger than the rest. An average adult southern male may weigh 8,800 pounds and reach a length of 20 feet long. And you do not want to get close to these bulls. They can be very aggressive. <laughs> Goliath beetle. These big bugs get their names from Goliath in the Bible. And as you can guess, Goliath was quite the size. These beetles are considered the largest beetles in the world weighing the most as juveniles and having the capacity to lift much heavier objects. They've been known to carry loads up to 850 times heavier than their weight. Goliath beetles are some of the longest and heaviest beetles. They range from 2.1 to 4.3 inches long and weigh up to 1.8 ounces as adults, but as much as 3.5 ounces during the larval stage. Males have Y-shaped horns on their heads, which they use in fights for territory and potential mates. Females have wedge-shaped heads they are used to burrow. These beetles have six legs with sharp claws and two sets of wings. The claws allow them to climb trees. Throughout their lives, these bugs go through quite a metamorphosis. During the wet season, larvae make a cocoon out of soil and become inactive for three weeks. They shed their skin, reduce their size, and become pupa. By the time the wet season arrives again, they open their wings, grow an exoskeleton, and emerge as adults very big adults. Goliath beetles can be found in tropical and subtropical rainforests in Southeast Africa. Mm -hmm. Colossal squid. This sea creature is the stuff of nightmares. You can imagine many sailors having nightmares about this beast wrapped around a ship and dragging it to the bottom of the sea, but little was known about this massive sea monster, the colossal squid, until 1925. Human knowledge is based on very few specimens that have been captured in deep-sea fisheries and on breaks that have been found in the stomachs of this species' most significant predator, the sperm whale. Reaching combined weight and tentacle lengths of up to 46 feet and weights of up to at least 1,100 pounds, this deep-sea predator has the largest beak of any squid, which makes them a fearsome predator along with the 25 rotating hooks found in two rows on the ends of their tentacles. Researchers have often imagined that the species engages in fierce battles with sperm whales, leaving both species injured. In fact, most southern sperm whales are covered with scars from colossal squid hooks. Ever heard of the kraken? Some people have seen these massive sea creatures, but not very often. They live in the southern ocean near Antarctica, and it was not until 1981 that the first whole animal was found. It was captured near the coast of Antarctica. <laughs> Giant Clam In some religious cultures' creation lore, life began with a giant clam. The clam grew bigger and bigger until it birthed the mother of human children, who birthed them with the help of storms and ocean currents. Now it may sound a little far-fetched, but the point is, the clam is a big deal. The largest known specimen of giant clam ever found was four and a half feet wide and weighed approximately 550 pounds. The large majority of a giant clam's mass is in its shell with the soft parts accounting for only approximately 10% of the weight. It's a nearly pure, healthy protein, and that's why this species has been hunted for several centuries or more. Giant clams utilize a combination of methods to obtain food. The majority of their energy is derived from symbiotic algae living within their cells, providing the clams with excess energy that they make through the use of sunlight to convert carbon dioxide into food. It also eats by filter-feeding small prey from the water above the reef surface which it siphons through its body. This species is also a favorite in public and private aquariums. Can you imagine keeping one as a pet? Most individuals currently on display were likely raised in captivity rather than collected from the wild. The Red Kangaroo Have you ever wondered why kangaroos are so ripped? You may have seen a few kangaroos on the side of the road in Australia or at your local zoo. They're usually just standing around, and they don't look very intimidating. 
But as it turns out, kangaroos are actually pretty buff animals, especially these red kangaroos. There are several reasons why kangaroos have muscular bodies. Male muscular kangaroos are more attractive to females. Plus, they're the largest hopping animals, which makes their legs strong and packed with power. And above all, kangaroos are genetically made to be muscular. 50% of their total weight are pure muscles, which makes them naturally buff animals. As the largest species from the kangaroo family, as well as the largest marsupial on the planet, their two forelimbs and two hind legs combined with a muscular tail, allowing these animals to move in various ways. The tail is often used as a balance and third leg when standing upright. The power of their tail is equal to the power of their hind legs combined. In fact, one hop can clear 25 feet. Crazy, right? On top of that, they're marsupials, meaning they carry their young in a pouch on their bellies. <laughs> Japanese spider crab. This is the first thing you'll notice about the giant spider crab. These things can have a leg span of up to 12 feet and can weigh up to 42 pounds. The Japanese spider crab's presence commands attention with its bright orange hue and 10 lengthy limbs. Its legs, which are plentiful enough to lock an enemy in a powerful embrace, are indeed the sea creature's most striking features. When giant spider crabs were discovered in 1836, researchers noted that they were known for the serious injuries they can cause with their strong claws. Not to mention they have a huge reach. However, their long legs look impressive but are known to be weak and poorly attached at the joints. Studies have found that a large percentage of crabs caught were missing one or more limbs, which regrow when the crab molts. Japanese spider crabs call the deep, dark depths of the ocean their homes. Their normal habitat is between depths of 490 and 980 feet or more. This means they're tough and very well adapted to the harsh ocean environment, but they're notoriously hard to catch because they dwell at such dark depths. And did you know the Japanese spider crab is not only the biggest crab, but its long lifespan may also make it the longest lived, up to 100 years old. <laughs> Flying fox. Is it us? Or are bats kind of adorable? Some people think they look like mice with wings. But if that's true, this bat is a really big mouse with really big wings. And even though they're indeed bats, they're called flying foxes. The golden-crowned flying fox is a fruit-eating megabat found only in the Philippines. It's one of the planet's largest bat species with a wingspan of up to 5 to 6 inches long and a weight of up to 2.6 pounds. This genus to which it belongs includes four other megabat species found in Southeast Asia. And they don't drink blood, so don't worry. The eating habits of this animal play an essential role in the multiple forest ecosystems. As it eats fruit, primarily figs, it distributes their seeds all over the forest, contributing to reforestation where they live. In areas where hunting and roost disturbance is prevalent, this megabat retreats to undisturbed native forests, avoiding humans and often roosting on very steep and hard to access slopes high above sea level. And in all cases, this species enjoys having other bat neighbors as they share their roosts with several flying fox species. While the golden crowned flying fox is one of the largest bat species in the world, it can be incredibly hard to find. <laughs> Queen Alexandra Birdwing, the largest butterfly with a wingspan of one foot found exclusively on planet Earth is Queen Alexandra's bird wing. It would be amazing if we could all see this butterfly variety fluttering around in our backyards, but unfortunately, it's severely restricted in its geographic distribution and is found only in Papua New Guinea. To date, scientists still don't know how many individuals there are of this species in the wild, and there have been no recent population surveys. What scientists do know, however, is that this species prefers open primary and secondary rainforests or remote plateaus because there is more light. The species avoids thorny habitats because of its large wingspan and delicate wings. Adults usually fly above the upper forest canopies so they can easily spot the flowers of rainforest trees. The adults are powerful flyers, most active in the early morning and again at dusk when they actively feed on flowers. The species was first discovered in 1906 in Papua New Guinea by a naturalist who chanced upon an individual on one of his walks in the rainforest. It was named Queen Alexandra's Birdwing in honor of the then ruling queen, Queen Alexandra, wife of King Edward VII of England. <laughs> Goliath Frog This amphibian is the largest species of frog in the world and it can extend over a foot in length and usually weighs over 7 pounds. 
the size of a baby, and they're found in the areas of Cameroon and Guinea in Africa near waterfalls and rivers where they sit and wait for their prey on nearby rocks and logs. The tadpoles are independent and dine only on plants near the waterfalls and rivers and can be as big as a can of soda. Although these giant frogs have been around longer than humans, over 250 million years, we still have a lot to learn about them. For example, how many years do they live? Is there more than one type of Goliath frog? Scientists are studying these creatures and learning new things about them. They hope that what they learn will help us find answers, so this amazing frog will be protected. There's no accurate information and number as to how many Goliath frogs there are in the world. What they do know is that Goliath frogs belong to the class of amphibians, and these amphibians lay their eggs in the nest instead of giving birth to young directly. An adult Goliath frog eats the same types of food than other frogs do, insects, crustaceans, fish, and other amphibians. But one scientist found a bat in the stomach of a Goliath frog, believe it or not. <laughs> Flemish Giant Rabbit These rabbits have a distinctive look. They're really, really big. There is no maximum weight for a Flemish giant. If you want a giant bunny, then Flemish giant rabbits are the bunnies for you. Most fully grown Flemish rabbits weigh around 14 pounds, but they've been recorded weighing as much as 21 pounds. Females may weigh less or a bit more than males, and it's not just their size that makes them stand out among other bunnies. The breed is a semi-arch variety of rabbit, which means that the arch in the animal's back starts at the base of the shoulders and curves up and over towards the tail. And the females also have a dewlap, which is a fold of skin under their chins that gives them a double chin appearance. As for keeping them as a pet, the Flemish giant is generally a docile breed. These giant pet rabbits make good companions and loving family pets. When kept indoors, they'll hop around the house and sit on their owner's laps. They can even be trained to use a litter box. Like most rabbits, Flemish giants need a diet composed of hay, water, and a smaller portion of rabbit pellets. Just a lot more than your usual bunny. <laughs> Manta rays. This unique sea creature can reach considerable size with an average width of 13 to 16 and a half feet and sometimes up to 23 feet. They can weigh up to 4,400 pounds. Despite their very large size, giant mantas are similar to the largest fish, like a whale shark and the blue whale in that they eat tiny plankton. They constantly swim along with their large mouths open, filtering plankton and other small food from the water. To aid in this strategy, giant mantas have specialized flaps, known as cephalic lobes, which help direct more water and food into their mouths. This mysterious creature is harder to see because it tends to live in the open ocean and makes longer migrations. But it does happen. Imagine swimming with these big beauties. Due to their broad range and sparse distribution across the world's oceans, there are still gaps in scientists' knowledge of giant manta rays' life history. There are reports of giant mantas living to at least 40 years, but little is known about their growth and development. They're found worldwide in tropical, subtropical, and temperate waters and are seen offshore in oceanic waters and near productive coastlines. Although giant mantas are typically solitary animals, they do group together to feed and mate. <laughs> Dalmatian Pelican The Dalmatian Pelican is quite a bird to behold. Its vast wingspan and powerful bill are something else. The Dalmatian Pelican can grow up to 5 feet 9 inches and their wingspan is even more impressive. At up to 12 feet, they rival that of the wandering albatross, which is widely considered to have the largest span of any bird on Earth. But there's more to these magnificent birds than their sheer size alone. It's a freshwater bird, which is among the biggest flying bird species on the planet, heavy as a swan. While the Dalmatian pelican is relatively similar to other pelicans, carrying a huge bill with a gizzard pouch, there's several characteristics that set it apart chiefly its size, color, and feathering. The Dalmatian, for example, has gray plumage compared to other species, while its wings are also tipped with black, which happens to be one of the easiest ways to spot one. The Dalmatian pelican is classified as a short to mid-range migratory bird, meaning its range is relatively short distances for breeding and overwintering purposes. When we say short, however, that's only in relation to other bird species. The Dalmatian still roves over some truly vast distances from the British Isles to the Taiwan Strait and Siberia to the Persian Gulf. Sunfish 
The ocean sunfish is a very large, oddly shaped fish that gets its name from this habit of floating on its side at the sea surface, warming itself in the sun. Still, for being so visually arresting, it's on the bucket list of many scuba divers. The sunfish is a bit of a mystery. Very little is known about its biology and behavior. They emerged between 45 million and 35 million years ago after the dinosaurs disappeared and at a time when whales still had legs. But part of the appeal of the ocean sunfish is its unusual shape. The heaviest bony fish in the world, it can grow more than 10 feet long and pack on a whopping 5,000 pounds. And yet, its flat body, which is taller than it is long, has no real tail to speak of. Adults are too large to be threatened by any but the absolute largest potential predators, but California sea lions are known to bite the fins off of small ocean sunfish and then play with them like frisbees. They eat gelatinous zooplankton, such as moon jellies, as well as squid, crustaceans, and small fish. In its lifetime, a sunfish grows from a larva one-tenth of an inch long to an adult more than 60 million times its starting weight. That's comparable to a human baby ultimately weighing the equivalent of six Titanics. We promised you big, and we delivered. Did you know that some of these creatures could grow to be so huge? Neither did we. So since you've made it this far, like and subscribe and stick around. There are more great videos on the way.